So I'm Keith uh, and I'm Photograph Collections Librarian here at the Sir George Gray Special Collections in the Central Library. On exhibition at the moment is a, a series, or a, a selection rather, of photographs by Charles Pete Dawes, who was a photographer in Kohu Kohu in the Hokianga from the end of the uh, 1890s through to around about the 1920s. Um, and uh, there are probably something like 200 images to see uh, out of a total of 2,200 negatives. We originally acquired about 475 of his negatives um, from a shop in Kaitaia in 2012 and then more recently last year some descendants uh, kindly donated to us another 1,670 glass plates and as you can probably see from the photograph that I've got next to me here um, the glass plate negatives blow up, blow up superbly uh, and you can see immense amounts of detail that you wouldn't imagine you could capture by film really. A very limited number, when we look through the negatives there are something like between 40 and 50 of his shots that actually cover the dog tax war so you can there were probably only about 12 that were ever published, so there's quite a few here of quite an interesting um, period in New Zealand history or event in New Zealand history that have not seen the light of day before. And we've got a dozen of those on uh, display in the exhibition here. So he, he was uh, somebody who recorded events of social interest but he also took a lot of photographs of his own family, uh, together with lots of portraits of people from the area as well. I'm sure he often took photographs because he was interested in the people and certainly interested in um, the areas and uh, the area that he lived and the, the architecture, the buildings, the events that were going on and the ships that came to and fro, uh, Kohu, Kohu and Rawini. So I think he was really excited by photography and whilst he hoped that he could make money out of it, what drove him was um, the whole process uh, and the whole um, assembling of images, if you like. He was you know, really interested, I think, in, in just recording life and the way um, everybody slotted into the environment and what's, what's doubly interesting I suppose about his photographs is that he shows a very um, integrated society in Ko Ko. So it's not photographs of Pakeha and photographs of Maori, his photographs show Pakeha, Pakeha and Maori living and working together. 19th century photography was um, you needed to be quite determined to take photographs, I think. Cameras were bulky and the cameras were heavy because um, they had to be big to take the size of uh, negatives that were on offer. And the negatives were made of glass, which meant they were very heavy in themselves. There are so many photographs, as I mentioned, and they're all good. Um, so we had great difficulty in choosing photographs for the exhibition. What is great is that when you're able to see these photographs um, in large format, you can home in on, on specific um, elements of the photograph. So you can see the people standing outside the pub. You can see boats uh, in the boat sheds and you can see the, the debris on the foreshore as well. Um, so. Uh, with virtually every photograph there's always something interesting to look at and um, I, I, I struggle to say this is my favourite because I'll always find another one that's really good.